It's finally time, bitches, for Second Life's favorite show, Adore's Drag Race, where only the real ass bitches can compete, but only one of them can survive. Which one is it gonna be? Bet you wish you had this kind of talent, don't you? So let's learn about the judges. First and foremost, I am your main judge, Ador de Velour, the most famous bitch you've ever met in your life. You're welcome. And the judges for this episode are... Hi, I'm Lunar McNeil, and I've gained fame by clocking bitches. I'm your season two judge. My name is Rose, I won season one, and I'm the judge for season two. Right, uh, welcome to the main stage of Adore's Drag Race, and this is where we will see if these girls are fit to win the crown. Now, let's see who's on the list. Okay, so this is contestant number one, uh, her name is Katie, Katie Wonderlust, and this is what she decided to bring to the runway today. So, uh, personally, what my uh, my opinion on Katie is, first of all, um, I love this outfit. Um, it looks very casual, but also, like, very chic. This is what I want, okay, guys? So, I want this type of bitch that, like, looks like she came from the club, but, like, she's at home all day long, like, just, you know, playing I, um, Second Life or something. I was gonna say IMVU. <laughs> I don't know. I think she's gorgeous. Um, let's go with the makeup real quick, so you can stop moving now for a sec. The makeup, um, she's gone very okay with the makeup, actually. I mean, you're moving so much. So she has some uh, lip gloss, and she has... So she has a little bit of uh, clear lip gloss. She has some glossy eyeshadow. I don't see any eyeliner, which is completely fine for um, a casual situation. Um, she has some uh, foundation, which I'm okay with. And yeah, I really like her makeup, personally. I actually really love this. So to me, this is very like street, but very sexy at the same time. She's showing skin, but she's not showing too much. Um, I like the fact that her makeup is very, very simple, but detailed. And I like all the little attention to detail that she paid, the, the simple necklaces, the earrings. I'm really, really digging this. I really like her pumping pumpkin spice uh, latte. I think yeah. it's really fitting yeah. for Yeah, the kind of story she gives me with this outfit is like, she was at the club until 5 a.m. and then she got home, but then she kind of decided to like, pull an all-nighter and like kind of run across town and get her some latte and stuff. I think she looks amazing. Good job, Katie. Um, how much would you rate this? One out of 10. <sighs> I'm gonna go an 8.5. Well, I'm gonna go with an eight. Good job, Katie. Uh, please go backstage. Thanks, guys. Oh, uh, today's theme is casual, if um, the audience members are not aware. I mentioned it in like all of my posts and the TPs, but if, if you came here from a friend of a friend, then uh, it's casual. Contestant number two. Uh, Bitch, what the fuck? I didn't even wave the first person. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna sit and wait for you. You you left and I, I don't know if you crashed or if you had to go. Yeah, I crashed. Wait for me. Oh my god. We have, to, we have to go on. People don't have all day. Anyway, so contestant number two, uh, her name is Jessie, and this is what she decided to wear today for the casual catwalk. Love it. It looks kind of sloppy to me. I don't know if it's if it's like there are components that I like, but overall I just don't like the look in general. I do I do love the bare face though. I do love just that 
nice bare face. She's got pretty skin. Um, I like her outfit. It's actually not that bad. I like how she's like matching the top with the shoes and stuff. It's really nice. And I feel like her hairstyle matches the theme because it's casual. And she has like a lazy bun on, I think. Yeah. I like it, it's not bad. So, I have a few things to say about uh, your outfit, babe. So, first of all, the first thing that came to mind as soon as I saw you is predictable. You're very predictable, your outfit is very predictable. Um, everything you've done with your outfit is extremely predictable. Um, anyone that knows like the whole albino kind of thing on SL uh, would have guessed you went with like all white kind of theme. Um, I like that you put a red top, it stands out. However, it doesn't give me too much of a casual vibe, it's more of like a club vibe. Um, and the first girl, Katie, she had like a dress on, like a club dress. However, she looked more casual than you do. Uh, I like the jeans, the coat is very cute, I like everything, the tattoos are nice. The bagel is really nice, and I like that you went barefaced, I agree with that. Um, you don't have like some huge lashes or anything, which is completely normal for like everyday women. However, sweetie, you're very predictable, and that's all I have to say. So, Adora, what would you uh, rate that? Oh, um, like um, six point five. Yeah, six point five. Uh, I would rate it seven out of ten. This is contestant number three, her name is Bunny, and this is what she decided to wear for the casual theme. Uh, please walk around, sweetie. I'm gonna go to the stables later and ride horses. <laughs> Uh, it, it's, I think it's, it, there's nothing like, that's gonna make me go, oh, okay, yeah. This doesn't look like competition ready wear to me. It's just, I don't know, I, I, all I can think of is like equestrian girls or like, you look like you're gonna go ride horses. Right, but equestrian uh, is casual in a way because casual just depends on like where you are, I guess, and what. I get it, it's just not my, it's just not my cup of tea. Um, the boots do not look casual to me at all. It's like her upper body looks casual, but then you go down, it's like, it's not. Well, her hair is like, I like it, it's casual and stuff. I like the hairstyle. I, mean, I, like, I like her hair. makeup. Yeah, I don't like the eyes or the boots. Those do not look like casual to me at all. Okay, thank you. So now it's time for my opinion, which is the most important one. Um, I, I love you as a person, I love your general style, but I expected more from you, and let me explain why. So basically, uh, you came through with this outfit, and uh, I really like it, um, so f let's just zoom in. Uh, first of all, you don't have any ears, uh, sloppy, but any- I like the look, uh, the hair is really nice and casual, um, the, the makeup is, you know, light, uh, I enjoy it, the eyeliner, the lip gloss, everything is fine. Um, the choker, uh, the uh, jacket, everything, I like it. The yoga pants, are those yoga pants? I think so. I really like all of those. And I like the boots, however, the boots do not match with this outfit. And I don't know who told you they do, because if anyone was like, oh yeah, girl, you should wear that, literally block them right now, I wouldn't be their friend anymore. But I, I don't know, you, you kind of mismatched with the boots. Um, it's kind of killing the look. Pretty good, um, but you can do better. And I know you can do better, so. Uh, my score for this is a 7. 6. Yeah, 6 for me too. So, uh, the fourth contestant for today is Heather Ray, and this is what she decided to bring to the runway. I like it a lot. I think it's cute, casual. Uh, I love the glasses. I actually just bought those. <laughs> um, I love the pigtails. I love the, the backpack. It, 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 it's the little details that I like. And yeah, I really like this. Super cute. I love the hair. I really like Heather's avatar. Like, it's really, really pretty. 
like the outfit I think I own it it's really pretty it's from Ivani I love Ivani I like the shoes I like her hair I really love those glasses and her makeup's really nice I just I like her whole Abby it's really pretty mm -hmm. I'm into it Ian is, uh, I really love this outfit, um, you've done such an amazing job. I really like how you um, did a whole contrast thing with the black, and then the light blue, and then you have like a la uh, white lace, I think that's completely amazing. Not everyone knows how to pull that off, but you do honey, and congratulations for that. Um, I love the whole look, I don't think I have anything to say um, that's like bad. Uh, you did accessorize a lot, but that's okay. I think some outfits, though, allow for a lot of accessorization, and this is, yep, this is it. Her outfit's so simple, the accessories just really, really make everything pop. Yeah. I love the backpack. So, yeah, I would wear this. She has lashes, I love her. <laughs> I'm going nine on it. I would give her a nine and a half. I really like it. Give her a solid nine. Uh, the only reason I'm not giving her a ten is because I want the ten means I want to be wowed. Like yep. you come through the runway and I just shit myself immediately. Ten's gonna throw my panties. Oh my god! god. <laughs> <laughs> You're really cute. Low key, I, I want that outfit. <laughs> Same. Wait, the okay. is a killer. Alright, so this is contestant number five, I think. I've lost track. Oh, whatever. Uh, her name is Trixie, and this is what she looks like for casual. Uh, you can walk around, sweetie. I hate everything about this outfit. You look like you look like an angsty teenager, and you look like you're wearing like grandma's bra. I just this does not look like it. Just this, yeah, it just screams like 15 year old in high school who's trying to be like edgy and hard. And mm, this is a disappointment. Okay, so this is obviously like slutty, casual. Um, she looks emo. It's not yeah. slutty. But let me look at this. I mean, <laughs> look like at the top. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, she looks like emo and edgy to me, like you said. Yeah, I agree with that. I like her latte. What is that? That's really. Yeah, I really like that. But aside from that. Uh, this is not really that Yeah, the frat is the only thing that I like. I want to say it. Trixie. Um, I know your style as a person. Uh, I like the colored hair. Uh, I don't like that hairstyle specifically, but I like the color of it. Um, as, a, as someone who genuinely loves emo slash goth slash whatever culture, like, I was an emo kid. I see what you were trying to do. Um, so, I, I like that part of it. I like, I like emo stuff. However, um, this outfit is a fucking mess and a half. I like the jacket, but if it was closed up, it would have been more casual. Because, listen, you can, have, you can have your titties out. I have my titties out literally all the time. I don't put my titties out and wear grandma's bra at the same time. Oh my god. The choker <laughs> is very, like emo culture and I know why you chose it but it does not match your aesthetic with this outfit at all um the jeans are like okay I mean they're cute I would like wear them but it's like I think those are leggings are they yeah look at the back I think the leggings they're jeg no they're fucking jeggings these are jeggings oh god okay even worse <laughs> I don't know 
The shoes, again, are okay, but you do really give me like an angsty teenager kind of thing going on, mm -hmm. which again, there's a time and a place, but I don't feel like my competition is ever going to support like an angsty teenager thing, but I get what you were going for. Can, can, can I interrupt? Like, I'm looking at, at Trixie's profile right now. Her profile picture, that's like cute casual to me, aside from like the dog face, but like... Really? That's her profile, that's her thing, like, but her profile picture, go look at that. That's cute. Like, it, that's, like, it, she's wearing the same choker, but, you know, like, that's way better than this. Like, I would, I would have rather you shown up, like, wearing that. Though. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what the fuck is up with you guys with the mismatching eyes. It's, like, been a trend for a while now, especially lately. Um, I don't fucking understand. It's edgy. I don't understand it. I don't like it. It's, like, if you need to mismatch your eyes, it means, like, you're basic and you want to stand. Well, I mean, the thing is, y'all, y'all like, want to look like a person. Y'all aren't huskies. Like, what are we doing? Oh, my God. <laughs> A one. I'm a one on this. This is this this oh is destroying my, my heart. This this, <laughs> this 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 burn it, burn it, just burn it. I mean, I would give her a four. Yeah, four. Trixie, I'm giving you a three. Uh, again, you can do better, but like, mm -hmm. if you're gonna show up to my competition, at least fucking respect it. You know what I mean? And if I know it, jerky dirk. <laughs> Well, hello! It's so yeah, Nancy, I just Next week, I want you to come through and just, like, kill it. Pay attention to the little details. Burn Grandma's bra. No one, no one needs to see that. And kill it next week. Steven, uh, please don't yell. Just take a seat, please. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... I got No, I just said, like, next week, I really want, want Trixie to come through and kill it. I want her to burn that damn grandma bra. And, like, show off, show off your vibe and your aesthetic, but, like, look cute doing it. Don't be sloppy about it. You know what I really want to say about you, Trixie? Um, as a plus-size girl, you're a beautiful plus-size girl, and I really appreciate that. I love my plus-size bitches. However... If you're gonna have a body like that, show it off. Don't hide it. Yeah, but it came off as ratchet and cheap. Anyway, Trixie, you, you can go. <laughs> thanks, Trixie. Yeah, thanks, Trixie. <laughs> Number six or seven, I don't give a shit anymore, um, is Adriana. And this is what she decided to wear at the uh, casual, uh, if in case you didn't know about it, um, theme. So... I'm gonna start with this one so Adriana um, in what world in what world is this casual sweetie please please if you can mic up please mic up I want I want to hear your opinion yeah it seems like I didn't give a fuck this this to me says like hoochie mama coming from the club didn't get me dick so she's like here at drag race <laughs> no, but like, the outfit is not even pretty, like, it looks cheap, and I don't, like, cheap. I don't like it at all, like... The shoes, the shoes, like, keep, keep like the it. shoes. No. No. And the fit, the fit, it doesn't look like it fits you really good. I don't like it at all. At all. Look at the back. What's going on with the back? No, you I no, I don't like the tattoos. Adriana, I like your hairstyle and I like your face. You're a gorgeous girl. You really are beautiful. But I don't know where the fuck you thought you were coming to today, because this is like not your gig, sweetie. Like I don't know what you're on, but like I don't wanna be on it. I like that. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, go, go on, sorry. No, like, I mean, adore, like, 100% everything you said is, like, I'm feeling the pain on this one. Um, the face is gorgeous. Like, the face, the makeup, I love, I love the, you know, the soft pink on the lips. I love the hair. But the outfit, you, like, it just... The outfit just like 
strips you of the thing that makes you gorgeous. Like, it just strips you of it, and ah. Uh, the heels are not casual at all. The shoes are. The Looks shoes like she's are, gonna stab me with those heels. Like, what the? the shoe, well, even if, even if we wore these shoes, they do not go with the outfit. Point blank. Yeah, yeah, let's talk about that. Yeah. No, I don't I like the on this competition. Just please, please just like, leave. Like, I, I, yeah, yeah. Please so just here's, leave. Here's, here's where I'm at. Wait, I want to give her, like, I want to yeah. give her a two for the hair and the face, but that's about it, to be honest. Like, from, from like, shoulders up? Great. Beautiful. Love it. Yeah, profile, but yeah. But everything else just makes, makes me, makes me sad. It's, so, it's not even like good quality, that's the thing. It looks cheap as mm -hmm. You need you get your nipples checked, cause what the fuck. Anyway, please just go backstage. Just go I cannot do you anymore. Everyone TP back and I messaged the door and I said I'm mentally clocking people right now. And you were one of them. You and but you and Bunny were the, were the two that I was like, oh honey, no no no. So with that being said, like the fact that the instant I saw you, I was like I, met, I had to message the door, like, is this what they're wearing for the competition? And you're gonna get a one from me. I don't like it. Yeah. You can do better. Like, you are so gorgeous. Like, this is so disappointing yeah. because you are Please do better. physically beautiful. You're At beautiful. the same time, you can do worse than this, let's be honest, so, yeah. I have to say something, honey. She's not, she's not in grandma's bra, so... <laughs> Um, I would have preferred that she has a bra for this situation because those titties are fucking scary. Some cold nip action, so you know what? I'm not even gonna bitch about that. I'm just gonna bitch about it looks like a garbage bag. Hey. Hello. I said I'm, I'm not really good at casual. <laughs> Everything else I'm good at, I'm not good Yeah, we can tell. Okay, we need to get Steven out of here. We need to, we need to send him out. No, he needs to be ejected. Like, Steven needs to be ejected. So this is the final contestant for today. I believe her name is Karina, and she's a lovely person, I would just want to say. Um, Karina was responsible for building the Season 2 stage. However, you know, some things happened that we didn't use it, but, um, like, she's helped with this show a lot. Um, and she's a lovely human being. I just want to say that. Anyway, let's just continue. I don't really like it. Nothing matches this outfit at all. Yeah, it's, it just looks thrown together at the last minute. Exactly, it looks like she threw lots of stuff together. I don't, I don't like the fact it. that the shoes have like black laces, but you're wearing a blue top. Uh, I don't like the Thanks. choker. Yeah. The hair is nice, I guess. Well, uh, yeah, I wouldn't totally. even know. No, I'm, I'm gonna... I think that laced jeans went out of style in like 2001. Um, they're just as bad as like... Remember when the jeans came out with the, with no back pockets? Like, they're just as bad as that. Yeah. Like, I just... It, this just looks like so dated and not today's date. Like, yeah, 2001 but... called and it wants its closet back. Yeah, but like, look at the top. It has laces, the mm -hmm. jeans have laces, the shoes. It's, it's, it's like out. I feel like she matches like the laces theme, something like that. Yeah, I'm just looking at the. I'm just giving her the benefit of the doubt right now. But I guess I don't another like another gorgeous face, beautiful face, stunning face. Right? Yeah. I'm loving like how everyone's coming through with like simple makeup, just like soft and the gorgeous makeup like is good. makeup is on point mm -hmm. what about the eyes though like what's up with the other girls uh, do you have like pink eyes this one has mm -hmm. purple eyes what's up with that <laughs> what's going on the eyes don't bother the eyes. eyes see this type of eyes more for like a fantasy exactly yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah it doesn't match i was gonna say before these bitches interrupted me um, to, to say absolutely nothing. <laughs> Basically, uh, the idea of your outfit um, is fine. It's okay. Um, however, you really shot yourself in the foot with the colors and the lace. I agree with that. Um, I didn't notice like the jean lace, but I noticed the top lace. Like, cause anyway. So, 
Um, Even the back of the jeans have laces. <laughs> again, the idea. So let's say if this top. Rose, stop talking. Um, <laughs> guys, let me just finish. So, so basically, um, if this top, let's say, was a little more closed or if it didn't have this black thing, it would have been a lot better. Uh, I hate the choker, by the way. It's fucking ugly. Delete it. Um, the jeans, if they didn't have the legs, they'd be better. But again, I don't know what to say about it. However, um, your face, again, and as the other girls, and your hair are beautiful. I love the face. I love the hair. Um, the eyes are like not realistic but like whatever anyway just let's just build up from that um your nails um <sighs> you're you look too like thrown together you know what i mean um but i don't want to go too hard on you because you're like such a lovely person like i think adore like if we're gonna go hard on everyone we're gonna go hard on everyone like you're in a competition you suck it up and you take it the shoes are like all one color. Sorry, what do you say? I think, like, low key, I don't like laces. Like, I think they're very dated, but I will say this I think the top on its own with maybe like a pair of leggings and some heels, it could be sexed up. Black and leggings? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. But I think in general, it's this perfect. just looks like. Oh god, I forgot. I have to go to drag race and compete today. Let me just like. Grab the first two things that I see in my inventory and throw them on. I'm gonna compete in my competition. You have to take it fucking seriously. Um, if you're gonna come here and you're gonna be like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna like throw something on and like it'll be fine. Like a door is dumb. Like whatever. Like that's not gonna fucking fly. I promise you. Um, so you have to take this seriously at all costs. So if you're gonna be here, you're gonna be here uh, fully. That's all I have to say about that. Uh, Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry because you signed up. You signed up to get judged. I'm not sorry. Honestly, her outfit is trash. Like, what do you expect? Uh, I would. I was gonna. I. I give the outfit a three. Because I, I give it a. I give it I a one. Outfit, I give it a outfit in in moderation would have been cute like i said that top would have been cute with like some like tight ass leggings some sick heels throw the hair up and like some like sassy bun put on like a darker shade of lipstick you're good to go black like, leggings at the 100 percent yeah yeah dark dark black leggings like it, it was just a hot fucking mess i'm sorry no i'm not sorry i'm not sorry at all those like jeans and top are really old, like really, really old. They're outdated. You know what? I don't, I don't care like if they come through with like some old shit as long as it works. It looks bad though. Yeah. That, that shit looks bad. bad. Oh. But it if looks... it works, it works. Sorry. What the fuck? Mhm. Mm So since Karina left, and I'm assuming that she left willingly, not due to a crash, because that didn't look like a crash to me, and there's no reason for her to crash. No, she had stars around her when she left. That was not a crash. That was a leave. It was like, fuck you guys, I'm out of here. Mm -hmm. As I said, I really struggled with judging this girl because, like, I know her personally, and like, I, I really shouldn't like show favoritism and i don't show favoritism nope. but like i know i know how she is so like i feel bad i'm sorry sorry don't come don't don't join up for a competition about your appearance i'm not, I'm not judging your personality outfit. i don't we, we, we pr listen audience anyone watching on youtube we we came to these girls beforehand and said hey this is season two we're upping the ants tea it's gonna be harsher criticism. If you can't take it, leave now before you start. I don't feel sorry. Um, I messaged uh, Karina and I was like, hey, sweetie, just so you know, like, um, don't take anything personally. It's, you know, it's a fashion show. I'm judging your fashion, not your personality. So I even made sure, cause like, yeah, I'm a bitch, but like I kind of have feelings. So like, I just wanna, wanted the people to like know that like, I'm not judging you as a human being, you know? Cause I'm, I'm not, I'm not like a fucking god. I'm not Jesus, and we judge you. But um, whatever. Let's just move on. Let's just move on from this. Um, this is taking way too long as is. 
Alright, so welcome back, Karina. I'm very pleased to announce that uh, you're in the bottom. <laughs> You've done... Yeah, she is. Do you disagree? I 100% disagree. You, you don't think she should be at the bottom? I think Grandma Brawl and Club Hoochie need to be in the bottom, too. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna... Wait, hold on, we're gonna... We're gonna ask Linda, Peachy Linda, what she thinks. I'm saying I don't want to get to know your personality because at the end of the day, like, I don't want to be, I don't want my vote or my opinion to be swayed because Adora talks a, a lot of love about you and you have, you, you, you probably have an amazing personality, but I don't want to see it. I want to have an unbiased opinion and look at you and judge what you're wearing and what it has nothing to do with who you are as a person, where your heart is. Yeah, we don't even know who you are, so we're not judging our personality. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, this is a competition, and if you didn't know what this was, then that's a fail on you, because you should have watched season one and saw what you were going to, you know, you saw what, what was going to be critiqued. So. It's a bit extreme this season, though. It's not extreme, it's honest. So I was just, since Peachy can't voice, I'm gonna say what, I'm gonna um, read what she said for the viewers. Peachy says, well, lol, I didn't like Grandma Bra, which is Trixie. Um, but I didn't like the whole look, to be honest, blah, blah, blah. The stripper girl, I like the top and the bottoms. The stripper girl, she didn't match the theme. The Karina, this girl standing here right now, should be in the bottom and she, should she, um, be a risk for losing this competition at episode one. <laughs> we have three bottoms. I think we have three bottoms this week. Like, honestly? Uh, uh, well, to be honest, Trixie's outfit was oh. not that bad. So, I would keep Karina. Which one was, which one was Trixie? Was, was Trixie, was Trixie, Trixie the spot Grandma Bra? Grandma Bra, Grandma Bra. yeah. She, like, yeah. the theme or like something, yeah. But, Trixie looked like she was going to a laundry mat on laundry day and she threw on the last bit of sh shreds of clothes that she had in her drawer. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. looks like she saw the first thing and then she put it on. Agreed. Rina, because uh, Linda doesn't think you should be in the bottom, you've been saved from elimination. Um, however, let me tell you this. If you show up next week, which you have to as a model, but if you don't, you're disqualified, but I'm just saying. Um, when you show up next week, um, you leave your feelings at home, because this is a competition. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you're not going to be eliminated this week, you're still in the competition. However, do better. Please go back to Like, I'm looking at her Thank face. You, like, can you imagine? Like, just listen, Loki. Like, listen. Look at her face. Look at the structure. Look at her makeup right now. Can you imagine if she came out here in a fucking snatched outfit? Like, she would win. She would kill. She'd kill. Not the eyes, though, but yeah. I get what you mean. Yeah, listen, Karina, um, I just want to tell you, you're not the worst person. There's there's uh, two other girls that I would love to eliminate, but you're not one of them. I'm just saying you did poorly based off, like, what this theme was. Anyway, Karina, can you just please go backstage? Um, uh, think about whether you want to stay or not. Uh, tell me later in the IAMs, but please don't be sensitive. It's a competition. This is messy, girls. What do you think? I, mean, I think this is a well, very messy... you know what? It's season two, and... When I saw season one, I watched it and I was like, oh, okay, so we're not going to go there. I was clocking bitches in my head and no one said a thing. Everyone was so sweet. I agree with sweet. This is a competition. Uh, you entered to win. You came to play. And uh, if, if you're not here to play, then by all means, like, maybe yeah, you should really go. Like this season. No, it, it, it. Really I feel like safe. it should be though. Like I it's feel really like honest. it should be. Uh, uh, Adora, when we talked about Drag Race, like what did I say to you? I said you you were too fucking nice. Like nice doesn't get results. It doesn't. Like this is a competition. This isn't this isn't Polly Pocket Playhouse. This is a competition. Yeah. Come to win or don't come at all. Don't come. Just like don't come. 
Oh god, I have I have two top tops in my head. Let oh, me let me let me like look at these girls. Actually, Adore, can you can you can you co coin the things I asked you to say? Because I need to look at these girls all at once. Silence. Bring me back my girls. My top two bitches this week are. Hold on, let me. Heather. Yeah, Heather and Beanie. I was the Beanie before, but now I'm like looking at her. She Look at her, she's sick of really me. looks really good. I don't necessarily like her sheep, but I like the clothes. But I'm gonna go with, uh. Uh, what's her name? Heather. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Heather. It's really cute. It's more rope. Yeah, my number one pick, like, if I had yeah, to pick like with said, you, Yvonne Beanie made, yeah. it, but Heather, like, laid, killed. Yeah, Heather, like, her hair, her face, her clothes, mm -hmm. everything. So to our other, like, look at these two girls. Look at the detail, the accessories, like, really, it's all in the detail. Look at them. Really, like, you, you look, see, like, if I'm seen. I see, I see Heather and Trixie next to each other, the way I'm, like, viewing them. Like, mm -hmm. look at the difference, right? They went for the same idea, but one of them did it a lot fucking better than the other. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Are you bitches ready? I don't care if you are. You, you, you have to be born ready. I think we're all on the same page. Yeah, we are. <laughs> the two best girls are Katie Wonderlust and Yeah, come to the front of the stage. Uh, uh, the mediums are Jesse. Bunny mm -hmm. and Karina. 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 Yeah. <laughs> so you girls get in the middle. In that order too, ladies. In that order. Just so you're aware. And the worst. The worst are obvious, it's Trixie and Adriana. Uh, okay, but out of these two, like, clearly, completely different concepts of, of casual. Adora, like, you're obviously, like, you have, like, the, the last, for the last word on this, but, like, which one do you, look, at, cause look how drastic it is, right? Who to you is, like, completely missing the mark? Silence. My final say on the two bottom girls is so, Adriana, um, you have a beautiful shape. I love your body. I love your face. I love your hair. But wearing a trash bag to my competition is a huge is a huge fucking fuck you to, to my face it's a fuck you to this competition and it's a fuck you to me as a person and those heels are fucking gross um trixie uh you've done better with uh fitting the theme but i just i just don't like the clothes it's it's it's, it's gross um it's I, don't grody. Think, I don't like the style um she wore grandma's bra. She wore Granny's bra. Like it's one, it's laundry day. The bit. Trixie's the casual one out of the two. You know what I mean? So she she followed the theme, but Adriana came through. Like I don't know what this is, but like I'm gonna have a good time. Yep. Agreed. Agreed. It might, the one that's not chosen uh, goes home. Um. Okay. Damn. Okay. I know where to go. So now, now we're talking like out of these two, who do we think has the potential to rise up and fit the theme and really fucking slay this comp, right? 
or judging based on this outfit. Right, but we also, moving forward, we have to think with Peachy's guidance. Yeah. Who's, who has the potential to rise up and not come looking like a hot goddamn sack of dumpster fire next week? It's time for the final decision. The one whose name I'm about to call is going to get eliminated with no chance of coming back. Loser of season two, episode one of Adore's Drag Race is... Trixie, you're going home, babe. I'm sorry. Mm, sorry, Trixie.